Hey folks, I'm Peter Melhorn, and in this video, I'm going to reveal the truth about the Demon Dragon. Alright folks, if you've spent any time in the Catfish or Striper world, you've heard of the Demon Dragon. Basically what it is, is a Zara Spook style blank, a floating lure that bass fishermen use. Uh, it's been converted over and used as a float on a Santee style rig and some other style rigs that people use to catch striper and catfish. The advantage to using these type lures is that they float and they will suspend your bait, similar to what a peg float does. In addition to floating, one of the other advantages is that it has a built-in rattle and many believe that this rattling effect draws in fish. Now the name Demon Dragon has almost become the synonymous name that people use to describe these things. There's different names, different people selling them. You can buy them and build them yourself if you'd like to. I'll put a link down in the comment section to some videos that I've done on how you can do that. But regardless whether you use these, don't use them, or thinking about using them, there's some facts you need to know. What led me to doing this test was questions and emails from folks who were asking how much weight will one of these lures support? And, most importantly, does it support more weight than an inexpensive peg float? Well, I decided to go into the Dieter Melhorn Fishing Laboratory and test them all out. What I did was in this test was I used two different size peg floats, a two and a half inch peg float and a three inch peg float. And I used some Demon Dragon style lures that were similar in size to these peg floats. The first test I did was trying out the original Demon Dragon style float against a two and a half inch peg float. This is a standard size that most people use on their Santee style drift rigs. I used a simple configuration of some small split shot weights and a clip to attach the weight to each of the floats. Now beforehand I did some pre-testing to figure out what weight was the closest and that's what I'm going to show you. I weighed the assembly of weights and it was 3 8 of an ounce. The first lure I tried it out on was the Demon Dragon original size float. As you can see, 3 8 of an ounce sunk it to the bottom. So in other words, if you have a bait that is 3 8 of an ounce, the Demon Dragon will not suspend it off the bottom. It will not float the bait up. Next, I tried it on the 2 and a half inch peg float. As you can see, the 2 and a half inch peg float suspended the 3 8 ounce weight. So what does that tell you? Well, it tells you that a two and a half ounce peg float that costs about 25 cents supports more weight than a $5 Demon Dragon. Next, I went to a bigger size and compared it to a three ounce peg float. On this assembly, I moved the weight up to 5 8 of an ounce. First, I tried it out on a larger, hand painted, very nice looking, Demon Dragon style float. As you can see, it sank straight to the bottom. Next, I tried it out on a blank that I got from China and painted myself. Again, 5 8 of an ounce took it straight to the bottom. Last, I put it on a 3 inch peg float. Well, as you can see, that 35 cent 3 inch styrofoam peg float was able to suspend that 5 8 ounce weight. Meanwhile, the Demon Dragon style lure could not suspend it. Again, what's the takeaway? Well, a three inch float will suspend more weight than these larger Demon Dragon style lures. So you're probably asking yourself, how can this little float suspend more than this big one? Well, the reason's kind of simple. The actual body that these are made out of sinks the material, the hull, does not float. If you've ever put styrofoam in the water, you'll know that it floats. You have to compress it down a really long way before you can get it to sink. These on the other hand, if you break them apart, they're gonna sink. So what's the takeaway in all of this? Well, a cheap 35 cent peg float suspends more bait than a $5 Demon Dragon style lure. Now, with that said, does one catch more fish? I don't know. I'll leave that up to you to decide. I've done my tests and the tests have shown that this cork will actually catch more fish, but I'll leave it up to you and your style of fishing when you're out there on the water. Everybody fishes different. 
Everybody likes different things. And that's the thing that makes this great sport of fishing so much fun.